Hey everyone, so, um, okay, so yesterday I pretty much made a video saying that my my gynecologist's office decided to give me a call at 912 to tell me that my appointment for the 11th was no good and if I could come in at 6 that day instead of 3... 45 and I was just like no so the manager called me up today and was like can you do it on the 22nd I said no I can't do it on the 22nd because um that would be that would be pointless at this point because I'm trying to figure out and I told her explain to her sorry explain to her that um I'm on Clomid and I want to make sure that my fibroids are okay, that they're not going to be, um, they're not going to be pretty much a burden on trying to get pregnant on Clomid. Um, this, this cycle, I really didn't do it. I really didn't check my fibroids, um, to see if they would get in the way. So that was just one of those... <laughs> It was one of those things where I was just going by faith, hopefully, hoping that um, they weren't. But the second cycle, I was just like, I really want to do it. I want to check to see if my fibroids are okay to get pregnant. And I explained to her, I was like, listen, you know, if, if they are no good and I decide to buy Clomid then it's at this point, it's just either it's, it's pretty much a waste of money number one, and it's just a waste of my, my time. So she was just like, okay, um, let me, let me put you on hold for a little bit. I was like, okay, it, it wasn't even that long. It was like maybe about a minute long. And, um, you know, I always tell people take their time. So she comes back and she goes, okay, well, can you come in tomorrow at 5.30, and I said, sure, not not a problem, you know, as long as it's, um, you know, as long as it's before my period date, which is, like, in four days, so I felt like it was just, to be honest, I wanted it to be a little bit sooner than Wednesday, but, you know, you get what you get, so, <clears throat> So we pretty much got it for tomorrow at 5.30, and hopefully everything checks out, looks good. But um, I'm going to see what happens. Um, I honestly, at this point, I just, I feel like um, I'm going to have to take that second round of Clomid because I don't feel, I don't feel like I'm pregnant <laughs> I know that it's a little too soon to kind of like say that, but I just don't feel it. I don't, um, I've been kind of like on wish, like I just purchased, um, no strips and I was scrolling through some things and, um, the most, the one thing that I look at the most is pregnancy tests. And to be honest, like, I really had to, like, stop myself from buying a couple because I just, I don't want that stress. I didn't even want to buy ovulation tests, but because I was on Clomid, I felt like I should at least monitor my, um, my ovulation Because I wasn't, I wasn't letting them monitor my, my ovulation. They wanted to monitor my ovulation and it, because my health insurance doesn't cover that sort of stuff, it would have been out of pocket and it wouldn't have been that bad if it wasn't $500. Um, they also wanted to put me on IVF if you if you didn't see any of my other videos, they want to put me on IVF and, um, that would have been $300 a shot. So 
it would have been $800 per cycle or roughly around $800 for a cycle because, you know, taxes and everything. I'm assuming that would, that would be, um, not in it, but, um, so roughly around $800 for one cycle. Um, I find that to be a little bit steep, but I've heard other people's have night like their um their experience with IVF was a nightmare and they were spending thousands and thousands of dollars um and I'm from what I've been told I'm kind of lucky but then there are people who have said that um the procedure of monitoring the egg they were like my health insurance covered it and it was five dollars and I was just like what the f good grief um, that is, uh, that is pretty much a bargain, <laughs> but what are you going to do again? Um, I just, I have to do what I have to do and that's just it. Um, I know I shouldn't be like, like thinking price, 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 because a child does, uh, require more money than $800 a month. Um, because I do have a daughter and <laughs> I spend so much money on her, but it's worth it. Like I love, I love spending money. I like buying her like the cute little outfits that I do. Um, but that $800 that I'm spending on my, uh, what I feel is my greedy, greedy, um, ambitions, um, I could be giving it to her and I had to pause it for a second. My daughter freaked out because her wagon kind of broke. It wasn't really broke. It was kind of like there was a shovel as a handle. So I guess when you want to like shovel in some dirt or uh, sand, you could just take the handle off and shovel it in it's like one of those frozen ones um it's like plastic small little one um but i told i tried to tell her i was like it's a shovel it's not broken she's like it's a wagon <laughs> um so yeah that is pretty much that's pretty much the way i see the money aspect i could just be spending it on my daughter but um this is something that i really want um, and I'm going to try to do it as best as I can. Um, if I have to go the route of uh, IVF, which I really don't want to. I really, really, really don't want to. I want, I, I'm hoping that this medication works. Um, but if it's just one of those things where it can't be done and I need to go through IVF, I'm going to just consult my husband because we haven't spoken about IVF, honestly. I haven't um, discussed anything about IVF. And the fact that, um, you know, again, I've, I've said this before, and I don't know if you guys have watched the... Hold on one second. I don't know if you guys have watched my other videos, but I have had three miscarriages and the doctor has not told me exactly why she has no idea why I'm having miscarriages um we did blood test after blood test after other tests after this test that test I do have uh problems with my thyroids um every time she gives me medication that's um a 25 they it goes too low Whenever she gives me um, medication that's 50, um, it goes too high. And this is another thing that I'm going to ask, ask, oh my God, ask her. Um, my, my aunt, she takes thyroid pills too. Um, she's actually not my blood aunt, but like she's just, she's uh, married into the family. So she takes thyroid medication but she takes like, um, I think she takes like a low dosage throughout the week. And then like on Saturday or something, like she's supposed to take one pill that is a higher dosage 
that will like even her out. Um, so I'm probably going to ask my doctor about that and we'll see um, if she has anything to say about that tomorrow. And I'm also going to give her um, the ovulation test that I had um, that had uh, pretty much like put on paper. I got put it on paper, I put tape over it, and I'm going to probably give it to her. I don't know if they're now invalid, um, but it does show the progress of, um, of the fact that it got darker, and then it stood darker for um, two days, and then it went right back down. So, and then... I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm so... I'm actually pretty nervous about this whole thing um, of taking another round of Clomid. I haven't had many symptoms, to be honest. I did have slight nausea, but um, I think that, you know, if it was the medication, then, I, I mean, I actually got got away with um with minor minor symptoms because i've heard like horror stories about this oh i've um i've had hot flashes I, honestly sometimes i won't even know if i have hot flashes because it's freaking hot it's this it's the summertime so pretty much like i won't know um and And I had a slight over ovarian pain, but that away that went away fairly quickly, and um, it might have just been one of those things where it was like oh, I'm close to ovulating because it was like right around the time where um, I was in the green, and I'll show you what I mean. Oh look, I'm a poet. Didn't know even know it. So, like, it was right around this time. So, it could have been one of those, those just, like, I'm just ovulating. Um, so, I'm not, I'm not blaming it on the medication. I hope that if I do get my period, that I get it on the 13th. Because, to be honest, it's just one of those things where it's kind of like, ooh, the weight, you know. You really don't know what's going on, and then you're like two or three days, four days, you know, whatever, late, and you're just like, maybe it's time for me to take a pregnancy test. And then that day you're just like, oopsies, ant flow, you know, so it's just, it's one of those things where I'm just like, I just want to be regular. I just want to have a regular period, you know? Because I, I miss those days when I had a regular period. I knew when I was just going to be like, yep, today is the day that Aunt Flo is coming, you know? So, in any event, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to know more about the things that I talk about, feel free to subscribe. And... Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to comment it in the comment section. Other than that, thank you for watching and take care. Bye!